Bengaluru where the journey all began. The first ever women's test cricket match was held in 1976 at R. Chinnaswamy Stadium. And we have somebody who's been a part of it, who's seen it all. Ma'am, the experience of the very first test cricket match. I mean, was it actually tough to get that test eligibility in the country? Not really. You see, uh, so you're referring to the West Indies uh, test match in November 96, it was staged here. We, I would like to go back a little because in 75, we played uh, under 25 Australian team. Um, that was okay. It was specifically mentioned. But in the beginning of 76, we played the New Zealand team. The team that we played here in India, we played uh, five test matches and a year later we went to New Zealand and we played at Dunedin. There was only one change in their 11. But the entire New Zealand series here where I got 527 runs including a century at Pune, that was treated as unofficial. Yeah. And I told you, you know, very same team that we played there, uh, that was treated. Fortunately, <laughs> I got my century there too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have gone <coughs> without a century. <laughs> in my <coughs> my second century became my first. <coughs> I got some twenty wickets or some, but Diana got thirty odd wickets. All that is obliterated from uh, <coughs> our the cricket history because it was deemed to be unofficial. I still feel just one player out of the 11 that played here, 10 played there. It was just the one, uh, of course, she's their main Jackie Lord, uh, like, like Spinner, the very good. Um, except for her, the rest were here. The same captain, same vice captain, Patricia McKelvey, um, I'm suddenly not getting their, uh, their vice captain's name, but <coughs> Barbara Bivich, all the same. But <coughs> anyway, that, that's a sad part of it. Yes, <coughs> officially, this was the, the West Indies test. Uh, I was a captain in the New Zealand series also. So, when we played here, <coughs> let me tell you, uh, we had almost packed stadium. Those days, TV coverage was not there, so um, nothing kept the spectators away. Here, many people prefer to watch on TV because, but now with uh, all the tamasha associated, the entertainment associated with T20 and people still come. But that's what, when I was looking at WPL here, uh, I went most of the days. <coughs> Um, the crowds, <coughs> amazing. It took me back uh, some 48 years back. We always had uh, packed crowds. I can tell you uh, this was almost like the RCB game here. And uh, the partner test, we had some 50,000 spectators. All they, they used to purchase tickets and come. Those were the days, I suppose, the advent of television, uh, in fact, acted as a deterrent for people to come and watch uh, cricket at the stadium. But then, thanks to IPL, it's come back. Yes, I got my, uh, you know, normally before that, I used to go two down, 10 for two, something like that. It wasn't so, uh, but the Bangalore test, the, the first official test that we played, our openers, uh, Fauzia Khalili and Shobha Pandit put on 80 odd runs. So, uh, I, I, I was free to play the way I wanted. Normally, I used to get bogged down because of the responsibility and things like that. A lot uh, depended on my performance for the team to either uh, win or avoid defeat. So I went, I played T20 those days. I never officially played T20, but I played the 
in that test match. So much so, Lala Amarnath, who was uh, chairman of selection committee, he was on the, on the radio giving commentary. He had seen me play the other games, things like that. So here he felt, oh, she's playing to the gallery. It wasn't that. It's just that, you see, those days we were playing only three-day test matches. And uh, I thought, if we can get a result, we'll have to score fast. And uh, I hit, my first six was in that match. Uh, the first six ever by an Indian uh, in, in international game. That was a test match. Mm. But then, uh, unfortunately, I don't know what happened. Beginning of third day, we were some five down, six down, I forget exactly. But some water had seeped in. I don't know. I feel it must have been some mistake by the groundsmen there because there was no rain as such. So the match did not start uh, third day till about lunchtime. And um, so I declared, at the, we were a few runs behind them, mm -hmm. though we had a lot of because I declared that, that score, but then it ended in a draw. It was in that series when we played at Patna that uh, we carved out the first ever win. Um, and uh, I told you, the capacity crowd, not just inside the stadium. After the game, we had to go to a, a college close by. They were felicitating us. It was just two kilometers, but it took us two hours to reach that because the streets were lined with the people cheering us because we had won the game. So, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, pleasant memories uh, that come to mind whenever uh, I speak of that series.